Good evening, everyone, and welcome. 1993. 1993, a landmark year for music, politics, films, and love. This was the year Bill Clinton succeeded George Bush Sr. to become the 42nd President of the United States of America. You know how it ended after that. Any Jurassic Park fans here? Woo! Yes. Well, it was released in 1993 with the king of entertainment, Steven Spielberg's genius and path-breaking special effects that are still studied today. It went on to gross six billion US dollars worldwide. That's a lot of money. So that happened. Exactly 30 years ago to this day, 24th February 1993, one of my favorite music artists, God of Music, and one and only, Eric Clapton, won six Grammy Awards. Song of the Year, Record of the Year, Album of the Year, Male Pop Performance, Best Vocal Performance, Best Rock Song. Everything Eric Clapton just took over. My wife is a ma massive Shah Rukh Khan fan, so it had to become uh, on this slide. In 1993, he starred in one of the most iconic movies of Bollywood, where he, uh, uh, in Bazigar, he definitely took a risk of playing the anti-hero and it paid off. Today is one of the biggest stars in Bollywood. All these big worldwide events were happening all around me, but they paled in significance to the one moment that changed my life. I cannot even begin to explain the exhilaration, the euphoria. I sound like uh, Sashi Tharoor. Uh, <laughs> the rest that I felt. Love at first sight. It is absolutely an out of body experience. I was doing my architecture, three years into architecture, I said, let me do something else, and I took up fashion designing. So I joined this course, and on a perfectly ordinary day, two months into the course, I entered the institute in Andheri, ready for another day, and I was stopped in my tracks. Through the glass door, through the window, through another window, through a small slit in the glass, I saw this face. It was the cutest face on the planet. I saw her, and I'm not kidding, I actually said to myself, this is the girl I want to spend the rest of my life with. And I went back to my class and she, and voila, in two minutes she was in my class and she, she was in my class and she studied uh, fashion design with me. Well, uh, the easy part now is over. Now is the difficult part. How to woo the girl 101. So now you look at, so it's, it's not easy. You try and, you know, I, I read books with her. I went to British Council. This is a very funny story. When I went to study, try and die with her, her mother-in-law served me this. Now, the picture on the slide is just a representation. It does not resemble what she served me. <laughs> but I recognize it was, it was spring rolls. Well, it was close to her birthday on 24th February, by the way. And uh, I, I'm not a, yes. I'm not a roses man, I'm not a flowers man. I said, give something practical. Could not get, <laughs> could not get strawberries. So I got strawberry jam, one kg of it. But it was red and it worked. So by her birthday, we were already almost, uh, I was quite sure it's going the right direction. So on April 3rd, I popped the question or rather she you know turned my hands around and made me say what she wanted to hear <laughs> some women just don't propose on their own or maybe it's a generation thing life since then has been an incredible journey with her absolutely a dream it's almost 30 years now with all the ups and downs trials and tribulations the only thing i can say is we have one rule and how to keep it going never take the fight to the next day it's finished at night and it's over. We are blessed with a daughter, Sai, who is a young woman on her way up in life, and son, Neil, who is now 10. Big dreams, bigger ambitions. Both of them are here today. In 2019, we moved bag and baggage, uprooting our lives and coming to Goa with virtually nothing. We met some incredible people over the past few years. Many of them are sitting here today with me, and I'm, I thank every one of them for this. I especially want to thank my brother-in-law, Dilip, who was quite disgusted when I went home for the first time. <laughs> but 
him and his partner Sucheta, and of course my mother-in-law who actually helped us relocate in Goa very well. So to close, that's Nandini, when I, when I met her actually. <laughs> to close, I'm just going to sing a, a song because it's her birthday today. And this is our favorite song. Come on, Nandini. Come on. Come on, birthday girl. Yeah, yeah. Come on, birthday girl. You fill up my senses like a night in the forest, like the mountains in springtime, like the dawn in the rain, like a storm. Like a sleepy blue ocean Come fill me again Come let me love you Let me give my life to you Let me die in your laughter Let me drown in your eyes Thank you, Manda. That was lovely.